Ah, uh, Karate Champ. Released in 1986 for the Nintendo Entertainment System, courtesy of Data East, and based on the 1984 arcade game of the same name. I hear people say this is a bad game, but is it really? Is it really that bad of a game as people say it is? Well, yes and no. It's complicated. Karate Champ is a sparring game of sorts where you fight your opponent, a dude wearing a red gi, in multiple rounds of sparring. The goal is to land blows on your opponents to score points. You score two points to win a round, and you win two rounds to proceed to the next level and start this whole shebang all over again. And that's it. You just keep fighting this one dude until you eventually lose as there's no end game. You just keep fighting for everlasting pe- oh, wait, that's the other guy. The main sticking point with Karate Champ on NES, to a lot of people at least, were the controls, which packs in quite a bit of stuff. This was originally an arcade title that had dual joysticks, and you'd hold the joysticks in certain directions to pull off moves, so trying to replicate that mechanic into a simple NES gamepad was ambitious to say the least, and while it didn't quite hit the mark, they did the best they could, I suppose. The A button attacks up front while B button executes back attacks in case your opponent lands behind you all the while holding it different directions on the D-pad in conjunction with the A or B buttons, or both even, will allow you to perform a variety of moves such as foot sweeps, roundhouse kicks, jumping kicks, and more. In theory, if you were to take the time to learn these moves, you might have more of a sporting chance, or you could just walk up and punch the guy in the face and that works too. Yeah, the AI is somewhat inconsistent at times, because sometimes it'll walk right into your punch and give you a free win, and then other times it'll put up more of a fight, or even get a killing blow on you before you even do anything. This occurs no matter how far you are in the game, and it does get a bit boring after a while fighting the same guy over and over and over again despite the different settings. Executing moves shouldn't be a problem, but there tends to be a slight delay between input and execution that makes it somewhat less than ideal, and pulling off the wrong move could mean instant death for you. Maybe. Collision detection is also somewhat spotty at times, with blows clearly touching but not registering more often than not. It's part of the reason why when the bonus rounds with the flower pots happen, I usually just hop over them or just let them one hit me rather than try to break them, since I don't trust the response time or collision detection to pull it off successfully. These two aspects are often the key killers of Karate Champ on the NES. Presentation-wise, I've seen worse, to be honest. Your two karate guys look the same and animate well enough in their own simplistic, limited fashion. I like the different scenery that the game has you fight in. They, all, they look alright for the most part. It's no work of art, but it's not downright awful or anything like that. Sound quality ain't too bad. You've got some good-sounding jingles here and there, some decent sound effects, and even some sampled voice bites, which is quite novel for 8-bit Nintendo, especially in 1986. The voice bites are soft and quiet, but still decent quality for what it's worth. Karate Champ on the NES is definitely a mileage varying game. I can appreciate the attempt in adapting a game that originally had two joysticks as its control scheme into something playable on the NES gamepad, and if you have the patience of a saint, you might get a hang of its controls after a while. Unfortunately, the lack of variety, as well as spotty collision detection and AI, keeps Karate Champ from attaining Grand Master status. As a whole, it's not quite as bad as some folks make it out to be. Personally, I'd much rather be playing this than Urban Champion, for example. But even on the NES, there are better fighting options available. 